All right, so today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Um, today I wanted to kind of open up and just talk about a few things. The gear community. Um, obviously, I love the gear community. That is my audience, that is you, the people. If you're watching this channel, then you're probably a guitar player that loves gear as much as I do. I'm so passionate about gear and I love tone, I love talking about this stuff. But there's a small portion of people in the world that they just go about this discussion in the wrong way, to put it respectfully. What I'm talking about here is people in guitar forums, in comment sections on YouTube videos, Facebook groups, whatever it may be. Um, just a few things that like I feel like I always want to say out loud and um, I always kind of bite my tongue because at the end of the day, it's never worth arguing with people and fighting with people. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about gear and tone and this whole umbrella of guitar world, I guess. I just think it's so weird that people fight over sound, over tone, over music. I mean, this is something that's so personal to the player, something that's so individualized and it's so unique to each person. So I don't understand why people would bash and yell and fight with people over something like that. Everything in this community, in this world, in this gear world, it's all designed to be a final product, right? And your final product needs to inspire you and needs to be what you want it to be. It needs to sound the way you want it to sound. And if your final product isn't what somebody else would do for a final product, that's okay. And if somebody else's final product isn't what you would do, that's okay. You know, there's so much polarization and it's like almost like politics now, like gear has become the new politics. It's like people get so tribalistic with their gear, with their choice. I picked this, so that's gotta be the best because I picked it. That mentality is just so off and it's just wrong, frankly. Um, everybody should be allowed to pick what they wanna pick and for their own reasons. My fingers will sound different from yours. Gear and tone and all that stuff matters to an extent, but at the end of the day, how far you wanna take it is up to the player individually. The unfortunate thing is I think that people like to go out of their way to bully and to be mean to other players, people asking questions, people saying that they love a certain piece of gear. If somebody loves a piece of gear that you hate, just move on. Don't slag on somebody else for being excited about a piece of gear. Don't start going around saying, oh, I tried that and it sucked. If somebody asks for your opinion, hey, should I get this? Is this good for my particular situation? Then that at least opens up a respectful dialogue in which you should always respond professionally and be giving advice and talk about individual situation. And that's a big part of this too, is that everybody's needs are so different. That's the beauty of music and gear and touch and tone. And that's really what's beautiful about music and about guitar playing is that it's so expressive and it's so personal. And when you try to force other people to believe th something that you believe, it's just, it's so toxic. It just blows my mind that people are like this, that they would be so angry and upset over somebody that doesn't agree with them or somebody that likes something or somebody that doesn't like something. And at the end of the day, like I said, all that matters is the final product to that player, to you. What's most important to you? What feels right and what sounds right? Instead of being bullied into forced into or forced into believing some thing that some guy wrote on the internet. So let's talk about me for a second and kind of what what's prompting this video because this is something that honestly it does upset me because I always have consumed YouTube content and I always loved watching YouTube. I loved being a part of gear forms. I love gear. I love talking about gear and nothing would bother me more than I would go to my favorite YouTubers channel, watch a video, and then maybe I have a question. I would just scroll to the comments and I would see 45, 50 comments and zero replies. 
And I'd be like, yeah, that kind of stinks. Like that you put out content and then you just don't reply to the people that are taking time out to view their video. They might have reasons for that and that's totally fine, but that's just something that I never wanted to do. And I always wanted to be accessible. So I want to participate in the forums. I want to participate in the Facebook groups. I want to engage. I want to reply. I, I reply to almost every single comment on my channel. It's very rare that I'll lose a couple and they just never get replied to. Unfortunately, it happens, but I do try my best to answer every single comment. I think I do a pretty good job of <laughs> pretty much getting 90 plus percent of the comments because you guys, the viewers are what makes this possible and what makes this fun for me, the interaction and the engagement. Um, it's not about all the glitz and glam and fame and fortune that I get doing this, trust me. But I have read and I have seen I've had videos made about my opinion. I've had posts made about me. I've been told that I make hit pieces on gear, which is just the most dumb and ridiculous statement. All I do here is give an honest opinion. Uh, my goal with the channel is to help you get to that final product that we talked about before, whether it's through tutorials on your modeler. My goal is workflow. I could definitely be a guy that cranks out 20 preset packs and just puts them up for sale and says, hey, you want to sound good? Buy my presets. But I don't do that. I have a couple of presets that I sell just because they're my touring presets. And hey, you get a cup of coffee every once in a while. That's nice to have. But I'm no by no means a preset factory. My goal is to help you get to your final product so that you don't need to buy presets. And it's the same with the gear reviews. The gear reviews, when I do all sorts of gear, obviously I I work with companies, I buy stuff, I get sent stuff, I get paid to do stuff. But at the end of the day, my goal with the video is to help you understand whether or not that piece of gear is right for you. And if it's right for you, then that's great. If it's not right for you, that doesn't make it bad. And if it's right for him, it doesn't make it bad for you. You know, so I try to be objective. I try to be honest and I always try to offer my thoughts about who this is brought who this product is for who's going to benefit from mostly from having this and also who's not going to i probably could do a little bit more of a who this product isn't for when i do my reviews because i think that that's an important thing but at the end of the day i'll never come out and say that a piece of gear is bad because honestly there really is no bad gear and if you think something's absolute garbage you think it's cheap you think it's crap Somebody might love that and that's okay for them to love that just because you don't like it doesn't make it not good for somebody else And that's what I try to do. I try to show you what what I do like I like to offer my opinion on what things that I like but I also look a little bit further past that and try to help you understand How to get where you want to go? Um, it's not about me trying to sell products. I don't do that in my videos. I try to be honest and objective and criticize as well as praise the good and also acknowledge the bad so that you, the viewer, can be most informed to make your decision and get to your final product where you are going to be inspired. All right, I think I've ranted enough about this. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Is the gear community this toxic or is it just me? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.